Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So, I have a new pocket dump for you. If you want to know what I've been carrying this past week and my thoughts on it, come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So I have a new pocket dump for you and uh, basically what I've been carrying this past week and it hasn't changed a ton, but maybe a little bit. Uh, I actually got a new magnet set. So I use a little uh, belt clip here. It uh, slides on over your belt, over your pocket, over your waistband. You can put a key ring in here or you can thread a key ring down here. And I use the one down here with a uh, magnet and that's actually a fishing magnet and then my key goes on the bottom and I have uh, two sets of keys that I use so I have um, I have this magnet set the black magnet magnet set is with my uh, truck key and then I have a, another set that has a blue band and the blue band is on the other vehicle that we have and uh, what I will do is uh, I will take that off grab the blue one pop it on here and so both all the all the key fobs that I have that I use this with are on the same side of the magnet and this is the opposite so this right here will attach to every key I have which is pretty cool super handy and this has a lot less height to it a lot less length right there than my old set that I had picked up at Walmart so I actually like this a lot better it stays you know like when I'm when I'm wearing it here I clip it right on my belt and it hangs down barely below my shirt. Whereas the other one was hanging, you know, way further down. I like that a lot. So I will have a link to that, the magnets um, in the description below. Really like those. Not sure what you do with your keys. It's always been a problem for me, uh, kind of figuring out how to make it work. And I really like that. It's simple, it's easy. And I actually will use the larger, I have two key rings here. The larger the key rings fits on the key hook. So I actually slide this up by the door. So when I'm ready to rock and roll, I just grab that and go. And once I leave the house for the first time that day, this kind of stays on me until the end of the night. And then it gets hung back up on the key ring, on the key rack. But highly recommend that, works well for me. Uh, keys are, are kind of very personal, I found, and like, Nothing, not one way works for everyone. Some people want all their keys together. Uh, some people have, you know, like work keys, house keys, car keys, all, all you know, together or in, a, in the same setup. Uh, some people are minimalist and want as few keys as possible. Uh, I don't need a front door key because we have the little keypad thing. And so I, I carry a, a car key. Like that's literally all I have. Um, I did go through a phase for a very long time where I had the keychain of doom and my keychain uh, had on it, you know, like a, a little razor blade, a little peanut lighter, um, little keychain tools uh, and different things like that. So my keychain was actually loaded up with a lot of gear on it. And now I'm, I'm down to my key fob. So uh, keys are personal. No one thing works for everyone. I'm not saying to use it, but if you are of the minimalist style and haven't figured out works, what works for you, Fishing magnets might. Uh, I don't know if you're if you're not switching out which key you're using for a vehicle. Probably not practical. Uh, but for me, it works great because literally I will drive my truck in the morning and then I will drive the SUV later. So for me, it's great um, and it's slim, which is what I like. And then inside of the pocket, I have uh, Listerine breath strips. I have my uh, mini bic with the uh, Gorilla tape still works gotta love that i would say it comes in handy but it's more nice to know i have it with me the uh change that i keep in my pocket a few quarters and i actually have a random item i have a uh, a little um 20 sided die very small super small 20 sided die we were at a uh, comic con two weekends ago and the two-year-old wanted one like wanted one really badly. And so we actually picked up several of these and I keep, uh, I keep one or two in my pocket 
And then if we're out and about, I can toss it to the, the little one and it, it entertains him. So uh, that is actually pretty cool. Uh, and then in my, in my zippered pocket on my leg, I have my CarMax. Still enjoying having the, uh, the uh, screw, screw cap tube as opposed to just like the push on, push off. Got a little bit of cash in my back pocket. Clipped onto the magazine pocket. I have a uh, Aurora A1, and that is just a really good light. I mean, if you've if you've used them, you know they run right about twenty five dollars. They are twenty dollars. Sometimes you can find them for fifteen. The old ones that are micro USB, which is what this is. The newer ones are USB C, which are a little more in price, but they they pump out six hundred fifty lumens. They're itty bitty. Uh, they come with a pocket clip option. I will say that's the thing that I don't like on them. And so I use these little clips and I actually need to pry, pry this out a little bit because the tension is, is a bit much. And then down inside of the magazine pocket, I am rocking the uh, Swiss Army knife. This is the Alox, so it's the metal handles. Very thin profile. And this is the uh, Farmer. So on this one, you have um, you have those right there, can opener, bottle opener, small driver, large driver, down here, uh, down over here, you have that wire stripper right there, and then behind those, the next item you come to, uh, is what makes this the farmer, and that is a very, very long, very generous sized saw blade right there. This so this saw blade is actually the the whole thing is the length of the um, of the tool because it comes down right there so you actually to open the saw blade you lift up right there so this is a very long saw blade for the for the tool itself and then uh behind that we have the blade very nice blade there and then the last item on here is the all, which I don't find a ton of uses for, um, but one thing I was actually just thinking about uh, is I might start using this, or at least test it out, for opening packages, cutting tape open. So uh, it's basically, I mean, it's basically just a, a sharp point and all, and, and maybe that will cut tape really well. So we'll see. I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it works as a box opener. Um, but yeah, that is my, that's my Blackout Farmer. Really cool, love this edition. I want to get the Pioneer, or the Pioneer X. So the Pioneer X has scissors on it. I think it loses the, the uh, I think it loses the saw blade, but it switch, switches it out for scissors, which is definitely more my jam. So I might, I might see about tracking down a Pioneer X and getting that in the rotation. But I've really enjoyed having this on me. And uh, yeah, it, it's worked well. Got a, got a blade on there and several other items to put to use if I need them. On the left side over here, I have a, uh, just a little cotton hank for the little one's runny nose right now. Uh, probably when his runny nose goes away, I will carry it for a while. And then at some point, we'll see if I keep carrying it on me or not. I am still rocking the front pocket wallet, the uh, Axwell. Got it upside down, there we go. Really love this wallet. I know every time I, I, I show it on camera, I talk about that, but I really, really do. I love the ability to change from a you know, cash strap to you know, blank, um, the clean look, to putting a money clip on here, to having a money clip and cash strap. Like it's a lot of flexibility there. And I only have three cards in there, and so it's super thin, literally disappears in the pocket. Most of the time, I don't even know that it is on me. And then the last thing on person, drum roll please, the Google Pixel Buds. No surprise there, you all knew that was coming. So those are what I have on me, uh, on person, and then still rocking the double watches, got the G-Shock and the uh, black multicam, still rocking the Fitbit Sense 2. And I actually got a uh, Velcro strap here in the OD green. I like it, but my wrist might be a little small for this because the strap is basically coming back to the watch. 
So uh, we'll see. I find that because of because I have some of the Velcro uh, sticking up higher than it should because my wrist is too small, I catch this on stuff. So I'm going to keep rocking it for a bit. Um, and maybe this will kind of fold down and, and settle down and stop getting in the way. Or I'm going to keep getting in the way and it's going to get more annoying and more annoying. And at which point I will try a new, um, a new band. But yeah, so we got the bands, uh, the watches, all the gear. And if you will notice, that is all I have on me right now. My, um, I was looking around to see my uh, belt pouch is sitting on the kitchen table. I have some, uh, uh, nail clippers in there and I actually took the uh, took the nail clippers out and was clipping some fingernails at breakfast this morning of a cranky two-year-old and so that is sitting on my kitchen table I haven't put that back on my belt and my leather belt pouch I have intentionally left on my dresser uh, and not put that on since the live video I did with Rich where these were the items I had on me and I didn't have on my leather belt pouch because I was just kind of bumming around the house that day. So I've gone minimalist, which this is not minimalist. I have a knife, a flashlight, or a multi-tool, a flashlight, uh, breast strips, uh, money, uh, lighter, wallet, pixel buds. Like I, ha I still have a lot of gear on me, but for me, this is minimalist. And honestly, the only thing that I'm missing on person, which I have noticed several times, is the pen. Uh, but I wanted to see like how minimalist could I really get and I don't like it <laughs> I need I need well I don't need but for me I need just a plain like um, single bladed pocket knife single bladed folding pocket knife I need one of those on me because it's just it's easy it's fun it's it's a tool that I like and use so I miss having that on me which is in my leather belt pouch I uh, I like this and most of the time, this handles all I need, but I, I live, I've got, you know, land, I don't live in the city, so there's, uh, there's not, you know, street lights, or, well, there's one close by, but there's not a ton of street lights, uh, and it's still winter time, so sun's setting a little after six, um, and because of that, I do like having a larger flashlight on me, like, I, I realize I may use that more than people who live in a city or, or an apartment or something like that, where you're in a well-lit area, a really good flash, flashlight, a really big heavy-duty flashlight might not get used much. I like my having my flashlight on me, and in the evenings, it gets used quite a bit around here. So I miss having that on me, and then I've definitely missed having the pin on me, and I actually thought about adding my uh my little fisher space pen it's coming out of my pocket this week but like this is a minimal carry and it definitely works and it gets the job done and minimalist is your style you know that's awesome rock on uh but i've learned after these last you know like four or five days here minimalist is not for me like i i want three blades on me i want five blades on me um i want to have redundancies and that's that's where I'm at. And I go through phases, like maybe your EDC is like that, but I go through phases where I will, uh, I will carry all the gear I can and then I will add more and add more and then it'll weigh me down. And so I'll slim down and I'll go down to a very minimalist carry and gradually add items back as I use them. And then I end up in a big carry and the cycle just kind of rotates. But I've, I've, I've learned I like, I like gear and I like having it on me and I like having an abundance of it. So this has been a fun little test I kind of gave myself. I was still carrying my belt pouch because that was, um, that's part of the challenge for February, which is actually coming to a close. But, um, yeah, this is, this has been interesting and I did prove to myself three knives is not too many for me. Uh, five knives is probably not too many for me depending upon how it's set up. So one knife is too little and that is what I did indeed confirm as well as a small flashlight is great and awesome but for me and my life right now just not quite as practical. So there you go. Uh, w rambled on a very long time. I do apologize for that. If you are still here for the end of this video what have you carried? Comment below and let me know and uh, do, does your EDC rotate through phases like that where you just kind of like have this cycle of 
too much gear, minimalist gear, add gear, too much gear, minimalist gear, and just kind of rotate around? Or does it fluctuate by life and what you're doing and how, how you know, things are going and, and you know, your, your job, your family, how far you travel? Like, does it kind of rotate based on life or does it just kind of rotate naturally? Or are you in the spot that I wish I was in where you have found exactly what works and you carry the same thing every day and you're golden? Because that's where I want to be, but I might never be that person. I like change too much. Uh, but yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think and what you've been carrying. And I will be back with some videos this week. I've got a wrap up for the February challenge. I've got to show you the bag I carried for the February challenge. And I've got a new bag that came in. So I need to get the old bag or reviewed on so I can start carrying the new bag and start getting some mileage on that so I can tell you what I think of it. So lots going on exciting stuff and i did a live with rich over at true budget edc and prepping that was awesome let us know if you want to see that on the regular we're talking about maybe making that a uh a ongoing thing and maybe monthly maybe weekly like we, what what do you guys want would you like a live and a live pocket dump and then like q and a's you guys could ask the questions uh and uh is that something y'all would be interested in? So let us know for sure. Comment below and check out his channel if you have not. And yeah, I will be back with a lot of content this week. So stay tuned. Remember, EDC, EDC.